Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So it's the end of April, the start of May, and we need to really get a move on with our planting. There's so much to get planted out this month. And I feel like probably a lot of people, I feel way behind. So I'm gonna get cracking and do some planting today. Here's my container garden. Uh, you can see the lettuces I planted out in my last update are really coming on really well. Uh, once they get themselves established properly, they'll be absolutely beautiful. So I'm just taking out some um, beans that we save seeds from ourselves. And these are a type of French climbing bean. And these are some of the easiest beans to save seeds from. It's still quite cold. The ground's still not fully warm enough for beans. But I'm going to get my beans planted out into this bed because this is going to be a little bit warmer, especially from the break, breaking down organic matter uh, that I've put in already. I'm just push it down. I haven't soaked these beans. Um, I've just gone ahead and planted them. We're expecting some rain, so um, this should be perfectly fine just as they are. I don't worry about um, sowing these direct. I know some people do like to start these off in module trees but here they're absolutely fine i find they do a lot better when they're sown direct so i've run, sown a couple of rows of radishes at the front and i've got this middle section empty we've got these lettuces doing fine but we've got this little section here empty i don't like to waste space so like i said in the last video i'm going to plant a row of spring onions so this variety is called white lisbon so these are the seeds that are pulled out and they can all go in so just as a little bunch, and I'm going to sow three, three bunches here, that's okay. With these container gardens, don't let any space go to waste at all. You know, maximise on the space that you... The, absolutely use every centimetre of soil. You know, don't let any space go to waste at all. So once that's had a water in, I can expect these onions to come up in the next few days. So I'm just recovering from the setback I've had from, uh, from having the chickens in here. So I'm, I'm just reclaiming the greenhouse from the chickens. And as you can see, this greenhouse last year this time, it was absolutely full of green and it was full of plants. This year is completely dead um, we had so many plants in here the chicks got out and just completely finished everything off even though they were penned up separately they got out and they just completely d destroyed everything so i need to do a bit of work to recover from that but i'm not going to let that stand in my way i'm just going to start uh sowing loads right now so what have we got let's see as much as we can get sown we're going to just get sown without stressing about how we're going with how we're going to go about doing it i had loads of onions this year sown but the chickens completely decimated everything and i've had to go back to sowing from sets and it's something that i wanted to completely avoid and not do again i had loads of coriander in these trays loads of mucky loads of other things but it's all it's all finished i'm going to get some kohlrabi sown into these trays this is a plant that we really do like. So I'm just going to try and be a little bit accurate. Well, I'm going to try and be a little bit careful with the way I saw them. And then oh, I'm just going to oh, I haven't got time for that. I'm just going to sprinkle them. <laughs> One of the things that I found with brassicas is I always struggle when I saw them direct. But there are some seeds that I am going to go and sow direct, and we'll, and we'll do that as well. I've got some cabbage greyhound here. Let's get these sown as well. Get that watered in. And I do like, I am a big fan of top watering rather than bottom watering. I know a lot of people like bottom watering, but I'm a big fan of top watering. You've seen the lettuces in the trough that are going, but they're going to be ready to harvest in the next couple of weeks so once they've been harvested you're going to be back to square one again without any lettuces so what the, th the thing to do now is to do some su what we call successional sowing and get some more lettuces started off straight away you want that constant supply don't sow masses in one go sow a little bit then a little bit more then a little bit more and just keep sowing them like that, Do you know, just keep, just keep it going. 
And I really like the colour of those purple lettuces actually. They're really pretty. So let's sow some more of those. Then we'll mix it up, we'll plant, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go for a little bit of a stylish garden in the way we sow them. And you know I'm not so much about style, more about f substance. Now, here's something a bit fun, a bit interesting. Now, I've not grown these before. They're called per Golden Sweet Yellow Potted Monge 2. So, let's... Um, I think it was Becky who sent me these seeds. Um, if I've got your name wrong, I really apologise. But I thank you very much because I'm going to sow them now. And then we'll have a go. So I've only got five seeds of these, so they can just go in a pot like this. I normally sow peas in a figure of five, and that's exactly what I'm going to do in this pot here. So we'll sow them in a figure of five, and get these started off just in here. And then we'll get some more water on here, in here, and we'll catch the water underneath. So let's get outside into our main garden and get some so things sown out of here. I've got loads of garlic just randomly planted all over the place. Now, in between this garlic is where I'm going to plant my my next crop. So I'm just peeling back some of the mulch, some of these wood chips, just move them back, just so I can get to the earth. And straight down, make a little furrow. I always like to just make a little furrow. It's not deep, just a little a shallow thing. <laughs> So a line of compost into my little furrow. And then, see, if you go by this line of compost method, you don't end up wasting compost. It's a really practical way of sowing. So if you don't have access to a lot of compost, that's a really good way of saving yourself a lot of compost. And I'm just going to sow a row of beetroot. And look what I've got planted all around it. I've got planted, I'm planting right in the middle of, of my garlic. Okay, so what I did was I randomly planted garlic all over the garden because I knew when I come to plant, this is what I'm gonna be doing. And then just some more compost over the top. And that's fine. Leave that mulch at the side. And then when those plants grow up a bit, the mulch can go back over the top. So it's a really simple, but it's a really effective way of growing. You just minimally disturb the soil enough to get your space planted. You know, enough to get your position ready for sowing. Because we'll go for a row of radishes. And these are really quick to cr crop harvest. In. Really simple. No messing about with it. Compost over the top and you're done. I'm going to carry on planting like that. I'm going to get some kale in. This patch over here, this is my garlic. And my garlic's absolutely doing, doing great guns. So um, what we're going to do is, as we start pulling out kale, as we start pulling out garlic in the next few months, I'm going to start interplanting cabbages into the middle of there. And then once my gourds grow over the top, my cabbages will be protected under there from the pigeons. Because, and because of the way I plant with um, companion planting, I don't have to worry about cabbage whitefly or anything like that. The biggest pest that for me are pigeons, and the pigeons won't go under there. There's a quick little update of where I'm at in the garden at the moment. I'm way behind where I wanted to be. I normally, and, and I'm way behind compared to where I was last year. So don't worry if this is where you're at. I mean, we can catch up, nature will catch up, nature will allow us to get, uh, you know, get on with the season. And we'll get on and we'll get a good harvest. I guarantee you we'll get a good harvest. We're a little bit behind, but it's no need to panic. We're a little, all we need to do is just step our, step our game up a little bit, get ourselves into gear, and we'll soon catch up. 
So I'm going to leave it there for this one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.